Thank you, Big Clean. Before we talk about Rashad Bateman and, and all the freaking out I've seen about his most recent injury or the cortisone shot that he received, I got to give you all a quick message. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Like, for, for real, do not let anybody steal your joy. Uh, because I've been seeing a lot of people, obviously, this is the time when it's hype season, when Ravens start putting out all the videos and whatnot of these different players making all these nice catches and all these nice plays while they having their mini camp practices and the OTAs and all that good stuff. And we love it. It's fun. But then, of course, there are going to be people that say, ugh. Here we go with these videos again. Here we go with the hype now. Oh, man, y'all are really getting hyped over a two-second video. And I get it, but at the same time, let people enjoy what they enjoy. Now, we did have a really good question the other day on question from subscribers where somebody talked about how there are some players when, where the Ravens will hype them up with the videos and stuff, and then fans will put these unfair expectations on them. So that part I get, but at the same time, would you... <laughs> Would you rather see the Ravens putting out videos of their players making bad plays? I mean, even a couple years ago, we remember when Lamar Jackson had threw a pass to, I forgot who it was, and since it wasn't a spiral, so many people were freaking out about that. It was a completed pass. It got to the receiver. The receiver caught it, but since it wasn't a perfect spiral, so many people were freaking out. So my point is, I guess people are going to freak out what they freak out about, but don't let nobody kill your vibe on that. Like even yesterday, yesterday, get this, and we about to talk about Rashad Baby in a bit. But I had to share this with y'all because it was funny. If somebody gonna hate on something, they, if somebody is looking to hate, they gonna find a way to hate. I was very appreciative of Tom Grassi and, and what he did, um, what he's done, his involvement with me and, 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 and us with the, the, the Ravens thing. And then yesterday when he was on the Pat McAfee show and he mentioned us, I, I, I was very appreciative of that because he ain't had to do that. He ain't had to do that. That was his time with Pat McAfee. That was his shine, his show, his all that good stuff. But somebody was like, oh, somebody, somebody was actually hating on me, appreciating that Grassi was looking out like that. And I was like, oh, and, and I knew already that people, if they're going to hate on something, they're going to hate on something. But huh? like, really? You're hating on somebody, appreciating what somebody else did for them? And it's just, anyway, like I said, man, don't let anybody steal your joy. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And, and speaking of hype season. Yeah, this is the time when we see all the, the, the highlight videos, the highlight plays from minicamp and all that. And it's fun. It's fun seeing. It's fun seeing our favorite players make plays like that in camp. But somebody who we've been looking and expecting and excited for to make a lot of those plays for the Baltimore Ravens, not even in camp, but this upcoming regular season is Rashad Bateman, former first round pick uh, Rashad Bateman uh, out of Minnesota. He was somebody I remember that year. That he got drafted. Now, when I get a chance, I look at film, but I don't really get a chance to look at film. But that year, uh, Rashad Bateman was literally the first person that I looked at film on, and I loved him. I loved him, and I wanted the Ravens to draft him. I wanted them to get him, and what did they do? They did it, and I was hyped. I was happy. I was excited, man, because I'm like, oh, wow, the Ravens drafted exactly who I wanted them to draft. Let's go. But... Came around, season came around, training camp came around. It will, then Harbaugh said, oh, Rashad Bateman has a, uh, I think he said he had like a, a groin issue. He said it was a small issue, nothing big, nothing major. Um, so we were like, okay, all right, cool. All right, Harbaugh said it ain't nothing major. So it ain't nothing major. So we waited and waited, still no sign of Bateman. We waited and waited, still no sign of Bateman. We waited, we waited, we waited, still no sign of Bateman. Marlon Humphrey, even during the same time frame, he had had a groin injury. Two, Harbaugh said it was minor. Marlon Humphrey came back. Rashad Bateman didn't. And with Rashad Bateman, he ended up missing a, a big chunk of his rookie season. So I know initially a lot of people were like, oh, it's Rashad Perryman. They try to compare Rashad Bateman to Rashad Perryman and the injury that he went through in his time with the Ravens. And we remember that whole fiasco. Um, but then he came on. He came back. And he came on strong, too. It's like it was that period of time where every catcher he has went for a first down, and it was great. Uh, but then following year, it's like, all right, Rashad Bateman, season two, probably going to break out, going to do his thing. We're excited for Rashad Bateman. And then the Baltimore Ravens, they were putting a lot on Rashad Bateman's plate because they were basically saying by the way that they – drafted, the way they moved in free agency and whatnot, the Baltimore Ravens were saying, hey, it's Rashad Bateman a bust when it comes to our wide receivers. 
And I was like, okay, cool. I do got good and high expectations for Rashad Bateman, but I still feel like the Ravens should do more. Um, they didn't really do more. I mean, they added Demarcus Robinson, but they were like, all right, it's, it's Bateman or bust. So they went with Bateman, Devin Duvernay, Demarcus Robinson. And early on in the season, when he was healthy, it, it was nice. They, they were doing their thing. It was lovely. But then as the season went on, uh, Rashad Bateman, he ended up getting hurt. And it was like, oh, man, mm, Rashad Bateman's out. So it was really uh, unfortunate. And then um, – they he was out for a little bit, then they brought him back for that Bucks game, but he played like maybe half of the first quarter and never came back. Then a couple days later, it was announced that uh, Harbaugh said that Rashad Bateman elected to have surgery, uh, I believe, on his foot. I want to say, but anyway, uh, so he missed the remainder of the season. So now, um, there's been a lot of I've seen a lot of Ravens fans freaking out about. The quarter zone shot. And let's just read the report. Uh, let's read it from Jamison Hensley. He said, Rashad, I mean, excuse me, Ravens wide receiver Rashad Bateman had a quarter zone type shot in his foot for healing purposes, which will keep him out for a couple of days. Uh, and Harbaugh said, we decided to let him keep rehabbing and make sure he's ready to go for training camp. So I, I, I've seen a lot of Ravens fans just up in arms about that. And I get it because they're just scared. They're scared, they're worried, um, especially because they, they just don't want this to be sort of like an, an ongoing type of thing. They don't want this to be a thing where it's like, oh, Rashad Bateman always heard da 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 But I think it's, um, like we've talked about before, Rashad Bateman, I can't call him injury prone. Um, it's been two freak injuries, two completely different injuries that he had his first year and in his second year. And uh, it's just been un unfortunate. Uh, and now with this call, with him getting a quarter zone shot, him not going to be uh, part of the camp for the next couple of days, I got no problem with that. Like Odell Beckham Jr. talked about in his presser today, we got a long time before the season's here. If this was week one, week two, week three, if, if this was during a regular season or if it was right before the regular season and people were freaking out, okay, I get it. No problem. I get it. Because, hey, it's go time. Rashad Bateman, I, I, I would get it. But now it's like, no, I would rather them hold him out. Because I feel like last year they may have rushed him back because he wasn't even ready. And when we saw him out there, especially in that Bucks game, it was like, oh, Rashad, no, 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 no. You need to sit this one out. And then he sat the rest of it out, and, and that ended up being his last game of the year. So I, I would much rather them... Be overly cautious, overly cautious with Bateman and with whoever, especially right now, the time of that it is in the offseason right now, then be like, all right, no, put him out there. Get him out there. No, man. No, there is no rush right now. And again, I understand the concern for Rashad Bateman. I understand the concern for his health, the concern around the concern of surrounding his health. But this is not the time, in my opinion, to be freaking out about this. Because it's so, it's, it's, we're in the middle of June. In the, I mean, it's the 13th. We're technically not even in the middle of June. Like, more so the, the, the 15th, 16th would be the middle of June. But we're close to the middle of June. And it's like, okay. He's going to miss a couple of days of camp. Okay. I get, I get the Ravens installing a new offense and everything. I get that. You definitely will want everybody to be there so they can be a part of that. But... Again, Odell Jr., he stressed it today. Like, hey, when they were asking him questions about, like, no, when they were asking him questions about, like, chemistry and stuff, no, we got, a, we got a long way to go before the season is here. We got plenty of time for all of that, for all of that. So with Rashad Bateman, uh, he'll be fine. He'll, he'll be fine um, in the long run. It's, it's not about the short game. This is something that we talked about during last season, too. Because we with stuff like Ronnie Stanley, I, I was cool with Ronnie Stanley. If he wasn't all the way ready to go by week one, I was cool with like, hey, put him on a PUP or even if you carry him on an active roster, he got to miss the first couple of weeks. No problem, because I would much rather Ronnie Stanley for the long haul. I would much rather a 100 percent Ronnie Stanley for the long haul than a 70 percent, 80 percent. For the short term. And then he re-injured himself. Same with J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, Tyus Bowser, all those guys that was coming back from injury last year. I would have much rather them be held out just a little bit longer like some of them were. Because Ravens fan, y'all know, 
We've seen the, uh, the we've seen the flip side of it before. When Ravens have rushed guys back, they 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 rushed people back and th- people weren't ready, players weren't ready, and then those players end up re-injuring themselves. They end up getting hurt worse than they were before, and now they're out an even longer period of time. Now they got to get something else worked on, another surgery done. They're gonna miss an extended period of time. Why? Because they were rushed back. So think about that. Next time, before you freak out or anything, think about, all right, when is this happening? Oh, it's still the off season. Oh, it's July? Oh, it's June? Oh, okay, we, we got a long ways to go. So just think about that the next time you see a report like this and it's like, oh, it scares you. I, I get it. I get how it can scare you. But at the same time, I just don't think it's worth all the craziness and confusion and whatnot. Hopefully, Rashad Bateman, he can get everything cleared up and be good to go in no time, but it's much better to be safe than sorry. So for that, and with that, I have no problem with the Ravens holding Rashad Bateman out.